Welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I'm your teacher, Aubrey Carter, and in today's video, you will learn Band 9 vocabulary for describing art and paintings. Remember to go to allearsenglish.com slash IELTS quiz to get your estimated band score and free resources at your level. Now, in today's video, you're going to hear high-level vocabulary that can be used for any question about art, and art comes up all over IELTS. In part one, you might be asked what type of art you like, or about visiting a museum and what art you saw there. In part two, you might be asked to describe a piece of art or a museum. And in part three, you might be asked more high-level questions about how art helps humanity or what we're focusing on today, which is the question, what makes a good painting? Now, you need high-level vocabulary to describe art for all of these questions. And today, first of all, I'm going to teach you a phrasal verb, speaks to, which we often use when we're talking about how art makes us feel. We use this phrasal verb, say, this painting speaks to me. It makes me feel um, happy or sad, or it makes me recall certain memories. And you can use the band nine verb evoke. Instead of saying, it makes me feel this, you can say, it evokes within me certain feelings, which means the same thing. It means it calls up these feelings and it makes me feel them. You can also talk about the style of art. Is it impressionism, realism? Impressionism is looser, broader brushstrokes, which just looks messy when you're up close and when you move farther away, you see the image that is depicted there. And realism is much smaller brushstrokes where it almost looks like a photograph. And you can talk about which of those you prefer, why you feel one is stronger than the other. And that verb that I use there, depict, depicted, is great to use when you're describing art because we use this verb to talk about anything that is thrown, th shown through art or represented by art. You can say, the clouds depicted in the sky evoke a certain feeling in me. This is another great word, ethereal. I often talk about the clouds in the sky of a painting looking ethereal. This means that they look light and airy. We often use this to describe ghosts or heavenly beings that seem transparent. And we also talk about it, anything that feels light or like it's very almost made of air and doesn't have a lot of substance to it. So if you want to talk about water or the clouds or something that feels very light and airy, you can describe it as ethereal. Now, remember, these words are needed for lots of different questions about art, but you also need to be able to hear sample answers. So come back for the next video. I'm going to provide a sample part three answer using this vocabulary for the question what makes a good painting. So come back and check it out. And if you like this video, if you know anyone studying for IELTS that needs this band nine vocab, share it with them and be sure to like it and leave a comment. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring real-time transcripts and vocabulary practice that will push your score higher. Plus, fun video lessons with Lindsay, Michelle, and Jessica. Download the app today at allearsenglish.com app.